You know how people think that Pat Metheny and Eric Johnson are really melodic guitar players? Well, that's because they are. But one thing that they have in common, as you hear me harp about all the time, are spread triads. This is actually one of the things that Joe Bonamassa, who is very influenced by Eric Johnson, actually doesn't use in his playing. Spread triads will make your playing more melodic. It also make your chord playing more melodic and interesting. Now, I've gone over the major and minor spread triads many times in here, but I haven't gone over the diminished, the augmented, the sus4, and the Lydian triads. We're going to go over all six sets in this episode. I'm going to go through the four different fingerings of each of the six, and we're going to talk about how to use them and practice them. Coming up next. Let me quickly review what a spread triad is. If I take a C major chord here, C, E, G, I take the middle note, move it up the octave, and I revoice it, C, G, E, that is a spread triad. So you take a triad in close position, take the middle note, move it up the octave, and it reorders the chord and you have a spread triad or an open triad. Why are triads important? Because they're part of every kind of seventh chord. For example, if you take a C major seventh chord, Right here, these three fingers make up an E minor triad. If I play a C minor seven chord, these three notes are an E flat major triad. If I play a C seventh chord, these three notes are part of a diminished triad. That would be an E diminished triad. So any type of chord, C minor seven flat five has a minor triad here, E flat minor in it, so it's E flat minor over C. So if you can incorporate these spread triads in single notes into your playing, it'll make your playing so much more interesting. Okay, so how do we play these? We're gonna start with a major triad and we're gonna go through four different inversions right in the same position. The first inversion is this. That's root position, so it's got the root in the bass here. Root, fifth, third. The next one is third root, fifth, the next one is fifth, third, root, the next one is root, fifth, third. So you want to play them like this, there, 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 and then come back. Then after that you want to play them in single notes. But you're going to say, well, should I always play them in that order? No, you should mix it up. Maybe go down that one, up that one. So you can play them in many different ways and you should really mix it up when you're doing it. So that is your major grouping of spread triads. The second one we're gonna do is the basic minor spread triad. We're gonna do C minor. Here's the first voicing. So I got one, five, flat, three. Notice I'm fingering each note, why? I could play it. Well, that's not a good fingering for when I play it. single notes, okay? So you have this voicing, we have this voicing, we have here, then we have here. Then go back. Then you want to play it single notes. Next, we're going to do diminished spread triads, okay? So it's going to be one flat three five. We're going to start with the root position, and this one is going to be ordered one flat five, flat three. That's the first one, okay? The next one's going to be flat three, one, flat five. The next one's going to be, this is a little tricky, flat five, flat three, one. The next one's going to be one flat three, five, flat three. So that one's the same as this one. Same order of notes, right? So you're gonna practice it slowly. Then you're gonna do single notes. You notice I did a little different fingering on that one. I went one, two, one, so I can get to the second inversion with my second finger. I think that's a cleaner way of playing it, right? So you want to, if, if I played it, then I don't really have a good choice to go to. I could go here, but that's not really a logical fingering and I can't, I, I can't go to that finger, right? So that's why one, two, one, two. And 
the next one we're going to do is the augmented spread triad grouping. First voicing is this. The second voicing is this. The third voicing is this. And then the fourth voicing is this. Then you play them as single notes. Those are really tricky, so you want to practice them. And then back. Next is the suspended triad, so this is going to be C sus4. So it's going to be 1, 5, 4, sus4. There's the first voicing. Second voicing is here. So it's 4, 1, 5. The next voicing is here. 5, 4, 1. And the next voicing is here. 1, 5, 4. This is great. So I love the sound of that. Last is the Lydian spread triad. This one is really cool and will give you some great lines. So it's going to be one, five, sharp four. So Lydian triad is one, sharp four, five. Then we're going to go sharp four, one, five. That's a little tricky to grab. And then we're going to go five, sharp four, one. And then we're going to go back to one, five, sharp four. So if I go backwards, then. to grab, right? We'll play it slow. Once again, I'm doing down, down, up if I'm going ascending in it. If you're going to go up one and down the next, you're going to need to change the fingerings a little bit. We're going to go from there to there to this then to this, then back here, then here, then here. If you follow my Instagram, you'll see me play these spread triads a lot. Last example, on C major, I play right up the arpeggios. And then on B minor 7, I play D major. Because that D major chord's right there in the B minor 7, like I was talking about. So I'm doing C major to D major to E major. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. If you're a first-time viewer, don't forget to ring the bell. If you're interested in the Beato book, which has plenty of examples of this in it, go to my website at www.rickbeato.com. You can find it there. Follow me on Instagram at rickbeato1. I've got a lot of guitar improvisations there. Check out the new Beato ear training method. Go to beatoeartraining.com and watch the introduction video. And if you want to support the channel even more, Think about becoming a member of the Beato Club. Thanks so much for watching.